Hello, YouTube. I hope you guys are having a great day, great weekend here. And I have to share with you that somebody brought these into my house. They're dill pickle Pringles, and I cannot stop eating them. I've almost eaten the whole thing. And I think it's time to put them down. Okay, let's be real. I probably brought them into the house. I thought they would, the kids would like them, but now I can't stop eating them. <sighs> Anyways. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley, and I am just here to share with you my, my life tips, my, my health and fitness journey, just be very transparent with things, share the things that are working for me, the, the knowledge that I have gained over the past five years of being a health and fitness coach, life coach, um, people coach, I don't really have a title. I'm just here to help people live a fit, free, and fabulous life. So if that is something that you're interested, subscribe to my channel. I upload videos at least three times a week, and I just hope to really inspire and give, bring you guys things that can, you can use in real life. So today is going to be a little chit chat video about what's going on, the changes I'm making in my journey, and how you can join me too if you would like. So stay tuned. So I don't have the best lighting today, but that's okay, we'll make it work. I wanted to get this video up and to you guys before I started on this new journey. So a little bit of background information. You guys, if you have watched my video, um, about a month ago I did a video talking about a Hashimoto's flare that I thought I was going into and um, the keto experiment into an intuitive eating uh, keto style experiment that I was going to go on. And that's been going really great. Um, except for those chips today. No, um, it, it was going great. I was doing Ins Insanity the Asylum alongside with it. I was feeling good. Um, and then last week I just got some life stressors thrown at me. Um, I had some different things come up and I was getting my workouts in, but I was really, really half-assing them. I was um, not really following the keto diet. I was like, you know, you start eating during the morning, the, like your breakfast is perfect, and then like by the end of the day, you're like shoving chips in your mouth like I was doing. And I'm sharing this with you guys because it's real and it's raw and it's it's what happens to people. Like you get off track. Um, I had some family come into town at the last minute. I wasn't ready for it. I had a weekend planned of all this stuff and then it just kind of sp has spiraled out of control. Um, I'm also starting to also starting tomorrow, I have a new schedule. I am kind of going back to work for my parents to learn their family business alongside of doing my business. So I have a, not as much time um, in my day or flexibility as I had before. So um, after reevaluating what I wanted to do with this workout, because I really wanted to finish Insanity the Asylum. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I talked about really pushing myself outside of my comfort zone, doing something that I never thought I would do before, and I made it to day 10, but looking at how I can reduce the stress in my life, because you know that I have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease, and it's really important for me to keep my stress down. I mean, it's important for anybody to keep their stress down. So I, I started getting stressed out about, should I continue on with Insanity, insanity the Asylum or not? And um, I kind of gave myself the weekend to think about it. I haven't worked out since Thursday. It's Sunday today. And then this morning I woke up and I said, you know what? The right decision for you to make to keep going, to keep your stress down. And because you shouldn't be stressed out about your workouts. It should be something that excites you and that you're fun to do. I know that I normally like to get up early and get my workout done and go down with my day. But now that I have... Um, you know, other obligations. I don't have as much time in the morning. I'm still gonna be getting up at the same time, but it would be great if I could cut 30 minutes off of that workout time. The Insanity of the Asylum workouts are anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes long. Um, and I know that doesn't sound very long, but when you're used to doing 30 minute workouts, it is a little bit of a push. So for now, I'm pressing the pause button on Insan Insanity the Asylum. And I had already planned that I would be doing max 30 after Insanity the Asylum. So tomorrow is going to start day one of my all time favorite, favorite program ever is Insanity Max 30. This program is amazing. I talked about this program in my um, my Ask Ashley on Friday, and, and the more I talked about it, the more excited I got about it. Um, back in 2014, I think it was, is the first time that I did Insanity Media Asylum. It was when it was released, 
and I never thought I would do an insanity workout. I thought that that's crazy. He is insane. Like, I don't know. I don't think he can do it. But when they released this program, they released it to where you can either do the um, workout with the regular trainer, with, with Sean T., um, and follow the class or there's a complete modifier version of the program and it's intertwined also so if you feel like you're you know you can do this move but you need to modify this one and just get better um, it's the perfect program for me right now it's only 30 minutes long um, the last time I did this I got in the best shape of my life and I think that this is something that is going to really just push me in this time of transition in my life um, so I'm gonna be starting that and I'm inviting Anybody that wants to join me to do this into an accountability group, um, if you if you are just starting on your health and fitness journey, if you are hit a plateau and you need to change things up, if you just don't know where to go, what to do, you need some structure, this program is going to be perfect for you. And not only that, but the way he talks to you in this program is so amazing that you feel like you did like a, a half an hour of personal development, of personal growth. It, it It is really just a life changing program. So I'm offering to anybody that wants to join me in on that, um, there is in the description box below, there is a link that says start your journey and click here to start your journey. Just click on that, fill out that form and let me know that you wanna get in on this Insanity Max 30 accountability group. The more people we have, the, the more we'll be able to stay accountable to this. It is a 60 day program. Um, like I said, the workouts are only 30 minutes and it's really about pushing yourself. It's not about doing as good as everybody on the video does. That's why I like it because he tells you in, in the program, you're going to start and then you got to figure out when you're going to max out, when are you done? So your max out time is something that happens after the workout has started and you go up until the point where you have to stop. Like you're like, I need to find my life. I need to stop for a second, grab a drink, and then you jump back in. So you you write down your max out time and then you get back in and you finish the workout. And the goal is, is to increase your max out times over the course of 60 days. So I'm excited to do this because I haven't done this in a while. I really feel like the past three months I've built up a lot of strength and um, a lot of endurance with my workouts so i'm curious to see if i'm going how i'm going to be when i start the max 30 tomorrow like what are my max out times going to be and i might dig up my old max out times just to just to check but you better bet i will be posting it on social media my max out times i'll be posting clips of my workouts and and just you know everything that i normally do because this is what helps me be accountable to myself it's for you guys but it's also for myself too um, I hope to inspire somebody when they see that I'm consistent with these workouts and then I'm also here to share with you guys like hello I had a shitty week I fell off I ate all the carbs I I just I just needed some time in my life to feel and to be and and so I did and I kind of you know thought about the pros and the cons of what I need and what needs to be a priority in my life right now and saving time is something that I need this is program is like 2.0 when, when it comes to insanity because they have tweaked things, they've made it better. And so I just think it's, it's, it's great. It's a perfect thing for me to do right now. And that's what I'm going to be doing. If you want to join me, all you need to do is fill out that form below. The link is down below where it says start your journey here and we'll like rock out 60 days of this. And you guys like bikini season is coming. Um, it got warm here in Arizona and I had to put some shorts on and I really, I'm really picky about the way my shorts, pants fit. And I just, I'm feeling good about my body, but that was kind of a wake up call of you better rein it in. So I'll be doing Insanity Max 30. I'm going to go back to full keto, um, starting tomorrow and just jumping back in with that. I'm still not weighing myself and it is the best thing ever. Um, I'm feeling, really, I'm feeling pretty good as far as energy levels go, as far as Hashimoto signs go. I'm not seeing much. I will be getting my labs done, um, in the next month. So I will do an update on that and share with you guys what I find out and how this is working for me. This is another reason I was, I had already thought about, um, cutting back on, on not doing the asylum is because it is a longer workout and it's really not recommended for anybody with Hashimoto's to work out that hard for that long because it raises your cortisol levels. So it'll be interesting to see what my labs say. 
but otherwise I'm feeling pretty good and I'm excited about all of these new life changes that are happening and I'll share more of them with you guys on this channel. So that is it for today. I am already going way too long. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you um, subscribe to my channel so you see when I post videos. And if you ever have any questions for me, send them to me. You can post them below the videos. You can, you can email them to me. My email is below. You can send them to my Facebook, my Snapchat whatever you want, and I answer those on Friday. So I do a live Facebook um, feed where I answer everybody's questions that they've asked me throughout the week on Friday on, on my Facebook page, which is also down below. So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this video, and I will see you in the next vlog, which I will be sharing my Insanity Max 30 journey.